in high definition from WPTV, Florida's most watched television station. This is News Channel 5 at 11. Ripples are coming in a down economy. This weekend's news about a $50 billion investment scheme will no doubt affect the affluent communities in ways we don't yet know. Bernard Madoff was part of a part time Palm Beach who confessed to running a Ponzi scheme and stealing billions from wealthy investors. As News Channel 5's Danielle Dubetz tells us that fallout could trickle down and change our local economy. <laughs> From politicians to businessmen, both local and out of state, the grand opening of the Arcade Currency Palace on Palm Beach was a celebration of what else? Money. The news of Bernard Madoff arrested for federal securities fraud reportedly losing billions of dollars in what boiled down to a Ponzi scheme, using investors' money to pay off others whose money he'd lost, was part of the buzz. I was in the beauty parlor today and someone said that this lady's husband had lost $140 million. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Madoff was highly respected with an impressive resume, some even calling him a Wall Street legend, living part-time in a $9.3 million Palm Beach home, also a member of the Palm Beach Country Club. So for many, the news is devastating. Lots of things are depreciating, and this is just another big fat thing that's happened. <laughs> but some say this is just the beginning, that Madoff's bad business will not only affect individuals, but the town of Palm Beach, the county, our local marketplace, but also the charities that depend on donations and earnings from investments. National correspondents have touched on this issue. This is Bernie Madoff, a guy who did a lot of investing, not just for rich people, but for charities. And that's the scary thing here. Many, many charities went to Bernie Madoff because he was a guy that can produce 8% return every year for the past 10 years. By the way, when it's too good, it's usually something wrong. I mean, that, that is almost never duplicated. It may be too early to tell how far-reaching and devastating this blow could be, but for those in the business of selling money, it's opening the door to a business opportunity. You sell it when the time is right. Nobody else is just misplacing your money. Danielle Dubetz, WPTV News Channel 5. Now he's out of jail on $10 million bond. His lawyer says, quote, he will fight to get through this unfortunate set of events.